Hi, art scholars, it's Ms. Alfaro. This week, we're going to be introduced to the most famous and celebrated architect from ancient Roman times, Marcus Vitruvius. Vitruvius was a first century Roman architect, writer, and engineer. He was the most celebrated author of a book titled De Architectura, or On Architecture. His books illustrated principles that continue to teach architects 2100 years later. His philosophy on architecture had three elements, solidness, usefulness, and beauty. Here's a visual of some of the parts of the columns I'll be talking about. He developed five styles of architecture, Doric, Tuscan, Ionic, Corinthian, and Composite. The Doric is the smallest of all orders. The capital consists of simple necking and a square abacus. The Ionic differs from the Doric in having more flutes and volutes in its decorative motif. Volutes meaning scrolls. The Corinthian order is the most grand of the five orders. Its distinguishing characteristics is the striking capital, which is carved with two staggered rows of stylized and canthus leaves and four scrolls. Now the Tuscan order is a Roman adaptation of the Doric. The Tuscan has an unfluted shaft and a simple abacus capital. The composite order, which was not ranked as a separate order until the Renaissance, is the late Roman development of the Corinthian. It's called the composite because its capital is composed of ionic volutes or scrolls and Corinthian acanthus leaf decorations. So you choose an order that you would like to recreate on a larger sheet of paper. You're going to create the order in pencil and trace in water soluble marker. You're going to paint over the marker with water and this is going to make the marker spread and look antique. Here are some examples of my students from long ago. Hope you enjoyed this assignment and please submit your work in Google Classroom.